Book Book 2. Welcome to Jackie's Literary Corner. I am Jackie and it's time for a 7 on Sunday. So this week's topic, August 27th, is the longest book series, the longest series on your TBR. Now some of these I don't have all the books from the series and a lot of these I don't know how many books are in the series or at least I don't know in the moment but I do know they're, they're a really long series. Um... Although this first one, I do know how many books are, there are. So here are the longest series on my TBR. So we have, first is Wheel of Time by, by Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson. There are 15 books. There is a prequel book and then there's the other 14 books. Now, I do believe, now unfortunately, I have heard about the slog in the middle of the series. Um, but I'm buying all the books in this particular edition, and either people spent money on them for me, or I spent money on them for myself, so I'm, I'm determined to read all the books in the series, despite the supposed slog. Um, and so I have up to book seven in this series. So first we have... New Spring. This is the prequel book written by Robert Jordan. I believe it was published posthumously. Um, pop I cannot say that word. That the word that describes when a book is published after the author has passed. I can't figure out how to pronounce that word, but I think that's what happened with this. I think he probably there was probably a manuscript and it was published years later. Um, or maybe like I have to look up the date. It's probably the shortest book in the series, actually. Um, and then we have The Wheel of Time, The Eye of the World. The Eye of the World, which is the first book in the series. Um, and then we have The Great Hunt. And then... The Dragon Reborn. And then the fourth one. Oh, oh wait, no. This is not the fourth one. This is this is actually the last one. The Crown of the Crown of Swords. Um This is the last one, not the last one in the series, because like, like I said, there's 15, but the last book that I own from the series. Okay. And this is, okay, yep, yeah, book six. The Lords of Chaos. Um, this one is pretty huge, too, and this one is pretty, well, I wonder, well, I'll have to see which one is the longest one, I don't know. Okay. Okay, and then we have Fires of Heaven, which is book five. And then this is the one I need to start reading, um, The Shadow Rising, book four in the series. And sadly, I think people are mostly going to have to rely on the, the books themselves because, like, the show isn't the greatest which is really disappointing and frustrating as a fantasy fan because I want, I always hope for a good adaptation because I like the idea of having the visual of a movie or a TV show and seeing actors play the characters and seeing all the costumes and the makeup and the special effects and like seeing it brought to life. And unfortunately, these adaptations are not that great. And some of these people who work on these adaptations do not respect the material and don't take it seriously. It's just a quick buck for them. And it's really frustrating and not, you know, I don't understand what, why do they not take this seriously? Um, okay, so there's that. So, let's see, the next series is one that I almost temporarily DNF'd, but then I was watching some book review, a book reviewer, a fantasy booktuber talking about how much they love this series, how great it is, and... It was really inspiring video to hear him talk about his love for the series, and it made me think I should give another shot to the series. I mean, it wasn't, you know, like, I, en I enjoyed the first book, and there was nothing inherently wrong with, you know, 
wrong with it. There was nothing that I inherently didn't, that I, you know, disliked about it. It's just, I decided, you know what, I don't want to, I don't know if I want to commit to this. But I have since changed my mind and I'm going to give it another shot. I'm probably not going to reread the first book. And I'll just jump into book two because it's a series where you're with different characters anyway throughout each book. And I think eventually they all come together. They're all linked together. Um, so the first book is, this is Malzian, Book of the Fallen. The first book is Gardens of the Moon. Um, and then we have Dead House Gates is book two. And I did start reading this book when I, you know... Before I was thinking about DNFing it, but then I decided I was lightly, softly DNFing it, and then I changed my mind. So, but I didn't get very far, so I, I feel like I, you know, reread, I could reread this and be fine. Um, let's see. Look at the. Look at this. Okay, so. Memories of Ice is book three, which I have that, and then let's see, um, House of Chains is book four, Now this is one of those series where you don't have all the books in the series. Um, okay, so next. Okay. Is it this one? Yep, next is Midnight Tides. This one comes after. Um, House of Chains. Oh, wait. Let's see. Sorry, I'm looking. This is one of those. So, then we have... Okay. And then I have these two. The Bone Hunters would be the... Or, no. Reaper's Gale, I think, would be the next one. Let me double check. Oh, nope. Bone Hunters, and then Midnight, and then Reaper's Gale. Those are the only ones I have from that series. Um, let's see if I can, because it lists all the books. I don't. So I don't have Toll of Hound, Toll the Hounds, Dust of Dreams, The Cripple Gone, Crackpot Trail are the ones, the other ones of the series. And this is written by Stephen Erickson. But there's another that another author who wrote these with him um, that has written several other books in this universe. Okay. Next is another big one, and I don't know if this is the longest one or not, but then we have Stormlight Archives by Brando Sando. Brandon Sanderson, his biggest series yet. It's ten, it's going to be ten books. He's still working on it. He has one more. Um, and right now, this is when it's up to date at the moment. He's actually been working on some secret projects he's slowly publishing. Um, I haven't gone to any of those yet. I'm kind of, I try to wait for them to come out on paperback. Um, because I prefer paperback. I mean, I have some hardback books, but in, um, as long, if they're not as long as these ones, the Stormlight Arcades books, then I might get them on hardback, but the, they're still a little bit more, you know, still cost a little bit more on hardback. So we have, the ones I do have are The Way of Kings, which I just finished earlier this year, and I'm so happy about that. I'm so pleased and proud of myself that I finally finished this book. Um... That's book one. Book two is Words of Radiance. Um, so I'm gonna, I want to start, I might want to start that this year. 
Um, maybe even bring it with me to the U when we go to London. Although my mom warned me that I should bring a small book because, oh, it's going to give me problems. It's like, um, it's really annoying because it really limits my, my choice of books, which is really frustrating. Um, then we have book three is Oathbringer. And then the last one, not the last one in the series, but the last one that I have is Rhythm of War, the fourth book. Now, um, although um, Brandon Sanderson is working on, like I said, I, I think he's working on book five right now. He's just going through writing his, publishing his secret projects, um, which I imagine he probably did that because he was kind of, maybe he was, you know to doing that in between working on book five from the series, taking a break from that book, and then, and, you know, just writing all these other books. Okay, so there's, that's, I think my, that could potentially be the long, well, actually, no, I think Wheel of Time beats that one by, like, by, like, five books. Um... So that is Stormlight Archives for Brandon Sanderson. And then we have um, another big one, which I actually only need one more from this series, but I keep procrastinating buying it because I'm like, oh, I got to read, you know, the next. I still got a while. I mean, I haven't even finished the fourth book in the series. Which that's Dark Tower by Stephen King. Um, his, really his only series, I mean, like, The Shining has a sequel, but he mostly, this is the only series he has, though. Um, so this is the fourth one, Wizard and Glass, which I've obviously already started. Um, and then we have, um, this is book three, The Wastelands which I still, so far, is my favorite between the, the three that I've read so far. Okay, and then we have... Um, so this is the prequel, The Wind Through the Keyhole. So it's not the same kind of edition, obviously, as these. Um, this one I got, I think I found this one at the roast office. But I think this is kind of a prequel book. Yep, this is when the gunslinger Roland was a kid. Um, which I'm surprised that I found this. Actually, this might have been a Black Castle when I bought this. I don't know. One, it had to be. It was one of either Black Castle or the roast office where I got this, which surprises me still because. You know, people don't, like, at least the roast office people don't give away their Stephen King books that often. Um, I guess I'm the only one who does. Not because I don't, you know, he's one of my favorite authors, but just they're, I don't love every single one of his books. Some of his books, or, like, I enjoy them, but I don't feel necessarily the need to keep them. Which I hope they don't, because I did, you know, I had one of those stamp thingies in the Stephen King book I gave to them, the skeleton skeleton crew I did put the stamp of my library on it so I mean it doesn't so hopefully though they don't feel like oh we can't keep this one we got to give it back to the person um although they have no way of knowing so and then we have this is the dark tower or the gunslinger the first one um I think even Stephen King himself says it's not his best work um, and then we have The Drawing of Three, which is book two. Oh, and The Wind Through the Keyhole is the prequel. Like I said, it's the prequel book. Um, okay, so that's the first. Okay, so we have those. And then I also have books five and six. Five being the Wolves of Kala and the book six, Song of Susanna. 
which I'm surprised how small this one is. And I did hear from um, Mike, from Mike's book reviews, who is kind of a more knowledgeable at Stephen King, and has read a lot more of his books. I remember him saying that he was very disappointed in the last two books in the Dark Tower series. Um, and this one really is small compared to um compared to the rest of the books i mean look okay that's compared to book five you know most authors especially when it comes to fantasy the books get longer nor normally get longer and longer but apparently not in this case <laughs> okay so we have that and so that's all that side Okay, so then we have book five, series five. Um, this is one of the few, I have two, like, I only have a couple of actually historical fiction series over here. And this is one of them. Um, and that is... The Barsetshire, Barsetshire series by Anthony Trollope, who has been compared to Dickens, by the way. So, here's that one. Um, so, we have... The first one is The Warden. And it, it's kind of, it's historic, like, it takes place in kind of a... England village, English, English village, which is a very much a religious village show. The church kind of runs things, so it's kind of a little bit of church politics. Um, so this is the first one. And then we have Barsetshire Tower, um, Barchester Towers. Um, this is book two. Um, and then we, so let me put these down. Okay, and then we have Dr. Thorne, which is book three. And you can tell that these are used because the cover, the dust jackets are all torn up. And not because of me. I mean, maybe I contribute a little bit to it. I probably, yeah, I probably contribute a little bit of, to why they're, they're torn up. But these books are pretty old. They've been around for, you know. A... So this is Dr. Thorne. And this is another one of those series where you're kind of focused on different characters. But they're recurring characters that were introduced in The Warden. Okay, and then this is book four, I believe. Yeah, this is book four because Dr. Thorne is book three. This is book four, which this is the one I need to start reading. It's the Framley, Framley Parsonage. So that's four. And so there's six, it looks like. So now we have, so this one is the small house at Allington. Um... And then the last one is the Flash Chronicle of Barset. So that's six books. So that so far we have a okay. So a six book series, ten books, um, fifteen being the longest, um, seven book series. And then I don't know how many books are in, um, how many books are in the series, in the Malazian series. Okay, so I got two more to go. Um, okay. Oh, that, okay, that's where I got, because I was, I was taking them down so I could show them to you guys. And then I was trying to think, you know, I was thinking, oh, I have eight, eight series here. So I'm going over the seven because there's only, we're only supposed to talk about seven books. But then I counted what I brought down off my shelf, and I was like, oh, it's, no, it's seven. 
It's seven series I'm talking about here, but then I'm looking at my document that I wrote so I could know what I want, what series I want to talk about. And I also had Song of Ice and Fire on here. I forgot. Um, so I think that's seven books. And that was another series where I originally had the mass markets, but I'm switching them out for trade paperbacks. Um, and I have only up to four from that series, I believe. So, um, I need to get books, five, I need to get five, and I think there's two more books. Come, like, he's, there's, um, but George R. R. Martin has not worked on them in a while, so if, has not, or he's working on them, I think, but they're taking way too long, and I think fans are really impatient about that. Because especially with how the ending was very rushed in the TV show, which I was just actually watching the bunch, of, like a couple of videos, or what the actors thought about the ending. Now maybe a few of them were okay with it, but others were just not happy with the direction it went. Um, so I believe there are seven books in that series, but I only have up to book four in that one, and that's Game of Thrones. But I already started that video, so I'm not going to go and grab them. I'm gonna try not to do that. So I guess that's a bonus series. So the last series, um, so then I, okay, so next we have, so that's a bonus A series. So now we have, um, another historical fiction series that I don't have all the books. I almost bought one of those books today because I decided to, I opted to go to the roast office today, but I always try to stick to my budget every month. So I'm, I only bought two books, so I wouldn't go over budget. Um, but we have the Saxon series by Bernard Cornwall. So the ones that I have are The Last Kingdom, which I read earlier this year. And I'm probably going to read the next book soon, um, which is The Pale Horseman. And then we have The Lord Lords of the North. And then we have Sword Song. The Burning Land, and then Death of Kings, and the one I would have bought, I believe, is um, Pagan Lords or something. Let me look at the, see if it has the list of them. Okay, so The Last Kingdom, wait, it doesn't say it on here, okay. But I think the next one is The Pagan Lord. Um, like I said, I don't know how many books are in the series. Um, let me see, let me put them in here. Okay, so I don't know if this is all of them, but... So, I would need the Pagan Lord, the Empty Throne, Warriors, the Storm, and the Flame Bearer. So, according to this, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, there's nine books. So, it's one less book than um, Stormlight Archives is going to be. But I don't know if that's all of them. So, um, so like I said, I almost bought the pagan lord today but like i said i there were two books and i was like i wanted to get them before they disappeared granted i could always get them on thrift books but i could also get the pagan lord on thrift books too um so the last series that i have like i said there's eight you know there's only supposed to be seven i'm only supposed to talk about seven but i forgot i had wanted to talk about game of thrones too um but this is the one where I don't, this is one of the ones where I have the least amount of books. I own, I don't own all of them. And this is a five book series. Um, and it is finished. And as it's done, 
all, in fact, I think all of these are completely, all of these are published. The only one that's not completely done that I have that I talked about here was Stormlight Archives. Um, but that is The Course of Dragons. So I only have books two, one and two. First one being Ruin of Kings and The Name of All Things. And this is the one I want to start this year. At least get, you know, so, um, at least get it started. I mean, I'll de ideally, I would like to, you know, read the whole book and not leave it sitting on my shelf for long periods of time. So, like, months or years. Um, but let's see if I have a, if it has... Okay, well, so after this one is The Memory of Souls, which I really like these covers. I like the simplicity of them and how each cover has a different animal on it. Um, and I like how, like, which I'm guessing those animals represent the different houses. Let me see. Um, let me see. Because, yes, like Game of Thrones, there's... So it doesn't say all of them, but I know it's all published. I just don't have all, I just don't know what all of them are. So, which reminds me, actually, I, there's two books that I talked, two series that I've talked about that it's not complete. And that is all, the other one being, um, Game, A Song of Ice and Fire. That was not complete, too. Because people pitching his name fit about it not being complete. I mean, I get it, you know, frustrating, you want to get the rest of the story, but for me it doesn't bother me because, you know, I've been... I haven't finished reading the series. So. So those are the longest series on my TBR. Um, what do you, any of you guys read series? In, um, in, or do you just read trilogies or duologies? If you read series, I would love to know which ones are your favorite or which ones are the longest series you've read or that you are, that are on your TBR. Please feel free to share in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like, subscribe, and click the um, bell notification button if you want to be notified about my latest videos. And I will also post the link to the um, Goodreads 7 on Sunday group so that if you guys are interested in doing it or being part of the 7 on Sunday group. Um, so I will talk to you all later. Alright, bye!